All right, so our first lesson, we're gonna talk about creating a schedule and creating an outline for our learning and studying plan. Whether you are a medical student or whether you are studying any other uh, branch like engineering or anything else, uh, it's important to know like how to create an outline. And in the past, you would open a textbook and look at the materials that you have to cover in the beginning of the textbook or at the end, and then things changed, things, things became electronic, so we just look at PDFs. And, but now, you don't really need to go and open textbooks or open PDFs, and you can use AI to create not only a schedule or an outline of what you have to learn, but also create a study plan. That being said, I'm not that good with study plans. Uh, me, myself, I haven't created one for myself because like every day I study, so I'm not like a person who needs a study plan, but lots of people need a study plan or a, a way to figure out when to study and how often or how frequent and for how long to study and what materials to cover uh, to create or to cover X amount of material over X amount of date, right? So with AI, you can do that easily. Uh, so, without further ado, let me show you how. So, when it comes to learning, it's very important to have a plan. What do you want to learn over what time period? And where is your goal? Where do you want to go, right? And uh, that's where ChatGPT does a really good job. And you can use any AI model. I uh, have the paid ChatGPT, but you can use Claude, you can use uh, Gemini. And these large language models are trained on a huge amount of data. So, they, they usually know the outline of most of the topics that you want to learn, unless you are trying to learn rocket science. I don't know if there is like any uh, training data or if the AI models are trained on any type of data when it comes to rocket science. But generally speaking, whatever you want to learn is uh, available out there. So for example, like I wanted to learn programming in, and uh, I had no previous experience with Python. Python is one of the uh, programming tools that are very beneficial for um, training AI models or uh, programming them or fine tuning them. So I wanted to learn pro uh, Python. So I said like, I want to learn Python programming using YouTube and create a schedule where I can do two lessons a week over the next three months. So I told him where I want to go and I said I want to learn the basics of Python. Uh, so I told it that, uh, okay, so I want to learn the basics. I'm not advanced. I'm not intermediate. So I was like t telling the AI models where I am and what they want to do. And each lesson should be around an hour. My goal is to learn the basics over the next three months. So I said, okay, so I want to do two lessons over three months. And it's going to be an hour uh, per lesson per week. And it's going to be two lessons per week. And I don't want to have, a, I don't have any previous experience. And these large language models, the more information you give them before you prompt them, their answer is going to be much better. But always you have to sometimes work on the answer that they provided. Uh, because this is a tool that can do a lot, but you have to work with it on several over several steps uh, to achieve the results that you want. So it says creating a structured schedule to learning Python basics over the next three months with two um, hour lessons per week is a great plan. Below is suggested the schedule. So it gave me a schedule. It's going to be three months, 12 weeks, two lessons per week, one hour each. And total lesson is going to be 24 lessons. And now it broke down the lessons and how they're going to be. Uh, so lesson one, lesson two, in week one, I have to cover this thing. So uh, it's telling me that install Python and other uh, programs like uh, Visual Studio Code or PyCharm. And these things are used to run the code if you are a beginner and you are learning how to code. So these are the environment where you can run your code. And uh, things that you have to know, like basic things of Python, including the syntax, the users, the community, um, suggested videos, Python tutorial for beginners. So it suggested a video, right? It didn't give me the link. And then it continues doing that, telling me the basics, the control of flow and other things as it goes forward until like it covers 24 weeks. And I think it, it, it did a really phenomenal job here because like um, uh, I think it covered lots of things and those are the things that I've been um, learning for Python. And then at the end, it gave tips for success. Okay, so um, I said, what are the tools that I need? Uh, how can I start applying my code and testing it? Do you have any links for websites or YouTube videos to supplement my lessons? Okay, so you gave me the schedule, but I really want a link. So I, I want to go through this links and one by one, I want to learn those things that you want me to learn or like the things that I want to learn to achieve the end result that I look for. So it was able to do that. So tools you need, it's giving me the tools. 
again and also it's giving me links how to download each one of them and this links get so like uh, visual studio code so let's click on it so it took me to the visual studio page and it's just like google search but much much more efficient like instead of doing three times a google search you can do one time of uh open ai or chat gpt prompt and then you can find all the programs that you need to download uh including Pi, uh, visual studio code pie chart and stuff like that so um then continuing here and then so like i said i i also like want some um now it's here telling me how to apply the code which is i find something extra also them about other platforms and then supplementary website which is which are good websites for example w3 school it's a website that um okay it looks like i can't open the link here let's see if i can uh maybe open the reading modes no it doesn't open the link for some reason you can see a link here but it doesn't open the link okay so i can prompt it and say can you give me the w3 school link and and then uh give me other uh, links to practice code so it, it broke down so it, it went to the internet it gathered all the information i need to learn a specific skill and it put it there and that's where ai tools are very very beneficial so if you are new to a subject and uh, you want to learn and you don't know where to start from and how to start so this tool is amazing for that and let's see for some reason i can't click on the link although like i was able to click on previous links but for some reason i'm not able to click on it i don't know maybe i have too much uh, chrome extensions but i can see that there is a link here anyways you can just search w3 school python tutorials and you're going to find this so this is a way on how you can use ai tools to uh, create um, a schedule of how to learn and how to approach the topic over what time period and you can increase the intensity as you go all right i will see you in the next one